morning. It's Wednesday morning. I'm up early, like way early. <laughs> it's like just now six o'clock. So um, I don't really need to even be up yet. So what I'm gonna make for breakfast is this. This is a Big Star burrito from Sweet Earth. This is one of my favorite breakfast things to make. Um, it takes about an hour to cook in the oven though, so I very rarely you know, take the time to make it. So what I'm gonna do is get my oven started up, put this in there, and then I'm gonna go knit some. Um, and that way I get some of my blanket squares out of the way for the day, or whatever, my one blanket square out of the day for the way. And then that way later on, whenever I have time to knit, whenever I should actually be awake, <laughs> then I can work on my um, MCAL. So I mentioned I was going to cook that burrito in the oven and it tells you to wrap it in foil, which I do not use foil. So what I do is I use this big dish. So this is a Pyrex dish and it is big for what I'm using it for but it has a glass in So this fits in the oven really nice and it actually gives the burrito like a kind of a, a really cool texture. It makes it a little bit crunchy on the outside. Not crunchy where it's weird, but crunchy like crunchy flaky. I'll show you guys afterwards. I got my first square done already. This will probably be the only square I put into the blanket today because I want to work on my MCAL and of course my Tecumseh too, but I'm glad I knocked this out this morning before it got light out. That's always exciting. Guess where we are. So it's been raining off and on since yesterday, and it's cleared up. I'm about to fall asleep at my desk, so I'm gonna make some coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's only 2.30, so that's not good. I know I got up early, but there is no reason for me to be almost asleep. So I'm gonna make a pot of water and then make some coffee, and yeah, maybe I'll wake up. While I'm in here waiting for my water to boil for my coffee, I figure I'll go ahead and pick out what we're gonna have for dinner, just so I don't have to worry about it later on. I kinda like to have everything figured out in my mind. That way later on, you know, it's just done and it's like no guessing. We're gonna have split pea soup. So we have spinach and pesto sausage and split pea soup. So hopefully this will go together. Um, if not, it'll be good anyway, but I think it'll go fine. about to show you guys a spoiler for the MCAL. I'm still on Clue 1, so if you don't want to see Clue 1 for the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along, then close your eyes for a second. I feel like I've made a decent amount of progress today, and I'm loving how my colors are working together. It's on my leg, so it's like wrapped around, but very happy with it. so they're starting the wilt. But they've held on really well. I got these, I think, Memorial Day weekend. They were on sale at Home Depot for $5. <laughs> they've done really good. I would definitely recommend them to a friend. Okay. Look how cute she is. Look how sweet. She's dressed like a popple. Mm -hmm. 